Good day to all of you listeners. I would like to remind you that we only have 30 days left before Christmas. Have a happy and safe holiday to all. Christmas is the best time of the year, they say. Streets are filled with children singing, bells ringing, and of course, pockets spending. And so here are some holiday tip tips that will surely unleash the fun without spending too much. First tip is to plan ahead. Like Santa, make a list of the things you need to buy and make sure that you check in not once but twice. Be planning ahead and avoid impulsive buying. Second tip is to have a budget. It can be too easy to buy anything expensive, especially this Christmas season. So the solution is to set a budget and stick to it no matter what. Third tip is to watch out for red tags. Malls spoil consumers by giving away promise and discounts every holiday season. Use that to your own advantage. Why spend so much on something that you can buy for a much affordable price? Fourth tip is to find fun in staycation. I know it's tempting to visit amazing tourist attractions during Christmas season, but keep in mind that out-of-town adventures mean additional expenses. Why not consider unwinding within the four walls of your sanctuary for change? Think of some things that you and your family can do to have fun and intimate bonding activities. The last and most important tip is to gift for the whole family. Well, why buy one gift for one person if you can buy for the whole family? It will also decrease the expenses. Think about it. A family pet, karaoke, subscribe to Netflix and have your family watch movies all of you can enjoy. You name it. And that's the most of it for this year's holiday tip tips. I hope those tips can help you to minus the spending and plus the bonding. Celebrate this year's Christmas without compromising your finances. With the right mindset and the right preparation, every Christmas is truly worth remembering. New Year is fast approaching. Using firecrackers as year starters is not new. And even using these explosions are prohibited. There are still some families that are used to celebrate New Year by availing the fireworks. So here's some tips to prevent injuries to have a safe New Year celebration. Invest in expertly crafted and branded firecrackers available in store for the safety of everyone around you. Second, place the firecrackers away from your home and your family to prevent accidents. Third, keep your hands and face a good distance from the firecracker while you light it. Fourth, never point the firecrackers towards people, pets, and properties. Fifth, if the firecracker didn't work at first attempt, do not attempt to reignite it again. 6. Never let kids play or hold the firecrackers. 7. After the celebration, soak the used firecrackers on the water before throwing it because it might explode that can cause injuries on the person nearby and disaster on the properties. It's not bad to welcome the new year by not using any firecrackers that might turn the celebration into disaster. We can celebrate the new year having fun with our family and eating foods with them instead of buying dangerous firecrackers. Again, let's welcome the new year with full of happiness and safety. The year 2019 is on its halfway. It's expected that this year, year of the peak to be very good without any bad periods and full of achievements. Filipinos are excited to celebrate New Year because we all hope that 2019 will be different from this year. The peak represents wealth and generosity. The more you will be compatible with design, the more your year will be better and full of achieved goals. In general, 2019 is going to be auspicious year for all of us. Have a happy and prosperous Chinese New Year! Did you know that February 14th is not only Valentine's Day but National Condom Day as well? It is a pretty perfect combo because what could be a better way to show someone you love them by keeping them safe and protected? Condoms not only prevent women from pregnancies but also from sexually transmitted diseases from both men and women. So, here are the most frequently asked questions about STDs, especially AIDS and HIV. What are the symptoms? STDs can cause physical symptoms like bumps or sores on the skin, 
itchy discharge, pain or burning during urination, fever, or symptoms like the flu. But all of these symptoms can be caused by other illnesses that are not sexually transmitted. Some STIs do not cause any symptoms at all. So, you can see how difficult it would be to diagnose a, a STI just based on symptoms you may be experiencing. Can I get it from oral sex? Yes! During oral sex, there is skin-to-skin -skin contact and there can be bodily fluid exchange. Can I get it from a public toilet? This is not very likely. Most STIs are only transmitted during sexual contact, either by skin-to-skin -skin contact or through bodily fluids exchanged between partners. How can I limit my risk of HIV transmission through sex? One can practice any of the following. Number one, abstinence is the best formula but if not possible. Number two, be faithful to HIV-free or equally faithful sex partner. Or number three, use condom protection for male-to-male, -male, for homosexual practice, or female condom for heterosexual activity. Or lastly, number four, practice non-penetrative sex. Happy hot and steamy day to all the couples out there! has been a time for Filipinos, mainly for the remembering of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Going to different churches and beautiful sceneries to reflect, unwind, and especially to bond with the whole family had been a continuous tradition. For those who are taking road trips, here are some quick tips for safe traveling. Number 1. Choose a suitable vehicle for your trip. The appropriate car is important to a safe and a comfortable journey. Number 2. Prepare your vehicle and list of emergency numbers. Check your vehicle before putting it to the road. Also, make sure that you bring a list of emergency numbers including road safety hotlines, medical and vehicle assistant numbers, gas stations, etc. Number 3. Know your route and use navigational apps. These apps can provide you information on road closures, construction sites, or other factors that might affect your journey. It can also give you alternative roads to take for a faster and less hassle ride. Number 4. Plan your stops. Use your information resources to know which places and avenues are most likely to have gas stations, restaurants, and convenience stores. Number 5. Pack toiletries. First aid kit and snacks. Bring travel essentials such as toiletries for cleanliness and hygiene, snacks when heavy traffic jam strikes, and first aid kit for mild injuries that might happen. I hope these tips help you to plan your next Holy Week escapade. Have a fun and blessed Holy Week! One more week till the first day of school. Mommies, are you ready? Here are some tips on how to be a smart mom when buying your kids school stuff. First, list all your kids' needs for school to save your time. You don't want to spend a long time at the mall with many people, right? Second, check the quality of the school supplies before you put them in your carts. Quality over quantity, mommies. Third, avoid buying unnecessary stuff to save more time and money. Next, keep an eye on your valuable. Thieves are everywhere and malls are not exceptional. Especially if you are planning to buy on a big malls and market such as the Visoria. We hope that these tips helped you. Happy shopping, smart mommies!